Okay, underexposed. That one's gonna be dark. Damn. You should ask before you do that. Everybody wants consent. Yeah. I'm no longer wanted nowadays. You don't got no wheels? I don't know where the trucks keep still my it's annoying. Damn bro. I said out of my face. Oh damn. Alright guys, we're out here in downtown Los Angeles. I got the M8. I got a new lens, the 21mm F28 L Merit. Got the IR cut filter on there. I know what you're thinking, 21mm might sound crazy, but if you're not familiar with the M8, keep in mind that is the full frame equivalent of a 28mm because of the, the M8's 1.33 crop with the APS-H sensor. So we're just gonna get out there and see what happens. The thing I'm gonna focus on today is getting closer. I wanna try to get closer. I wanna try to cut people off. I, I'm like getting frustrated getting too many shots from the side. I wanna get more front on, try to get as close as I can. And having that 21 mil, it's gonna give me a little bit bigger of a depth of field, but still have the field of view of a 28. So let's get it. So that was actually a talking head that I did at the top of day two. I forgot to do a talking head for day one. I'm not used to like having GoPros with me when I'm out on the street. I've only been doing street photography for a little over a year. So this whole like street POV thing for YouTube is brand new to me. And I don't know if I'm that hip to doing it, honestly. I, you know, the whole reason I like to do street photography is just, it's like a meditation for me. So I don't know if I'll keep doing these kinds of POV street videos. I guess it'll just go on the feedback of the channel or whatever. Anyways, this was day one, and my homie Shalabi Omar, shout out to him, he hit me up and said, hey man, they're doing an anime convention down here at the Crypto.com Arena, which was previously known as the Staples Center. So I said, awesome, you know, like, we'll go over there. And also this same day, there was the hospitality workers strike going on. So it was a pretty wild day, and I just thought, awesome, this will be like a bunch of easy targets, fish in a barrel. However, I will say, this first day was not so great of pictures as you'll see. Yeah, that first day I was not using the Ricoh external viewfinder. And I know a lot of folks say online that the rangefinder window on the M8, if you just ignore the frame lines, that the entire rangefinder window with its, I believe it's a 0.68 times magnification on the M8, they say it, you know, the whole window itself can serve as the frame lines for uh, the 28 millimeter full frame field of view equivalent. However, in my experience, I mean, that may be true. The difference is, is that the Ricoh viewfinder is so much brighter. It's a more enjoyable shooting experience, I guess is what I'll say. And you can see through it way easier. It's way brighter. I hope you stick around because the next following two days, I got really like comfortable in downtown. First of all, I got comfortable in the environment of downtown. I hope you guys stick around, but also, I have the video titled like this because this was the first time ever I've never asked anyone permission to take their photo. And you know, my buddy Shalaby, you know, I gotta give props to him because he's just like, he, you know, convinced me to start doing that. And this dude, the first ever, 
Uh, he ended up hitting me back once I emailed him the photos and now he wants to hire me to shoot a full-on portrait session with him so out there you know take risk you know that's like kind of new thing for me I mean it's not new for me to take portraits anyways yeah so this dude he was literally the first guy I ever asked permission to shoot and look at that you know he hired me for a job so this will probably be the end of the VO but I hope you stick around and check out the next two days and I personally think the photography got better I'm getting more comfortable with downtown getting more comfortable with the camera getting more comfortable with the lens overall so yeah stick around i talk about things that i uh, think that i need to improve on you know workarounds with both the lens and the camera and all of that you ain't gonna lose those damn i want to get a shot of these guys right here dude Sick. Yeah, I like his shoes a lot. I'm gonna go ask him right now. Excuse me, sir. Could I take a picture of you? Take a portrait of you? Yeah, man, I love the style, man. It's awesome. Yeah, stand right down here. I get the buildings behind you. That'll be awesome. Yeah, I love it, man. Wait for that bus to go. Here we go. I'm gonna get closer, too. Yeah. The latest stuff, ain't you, man? Oh, this is old, old camera, old yeah. light. Yeah. I like the old camera. Yeah, man. Old picture. Exactly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. That's rad. All right. What do you mean? You'd have to go and uh, set it up for me, actually. Yeah, this is right here. Good one. He tried to back away. Brad, man, thank you. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, dude. That's so good, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Stand over here in front of this building. Thank you. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try to get you. I'll try to get that mark in there. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look at him. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Second Instagram. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. You. Yeah. You fucking me up, man. <laughs> it's on the street. It's crap. Is it that bad? No one knows what it was. Wait. Huh? No one knows what it was. That's nice, though. No one took the crack right there, You think, you think they, they would take that down? A whole post or just the one picture? How does it work? I don't know. I only have one picture. But... Yeah. Try to get a nice blurry shot. <laughs> I like to blur the uh, the colors when they're on. See, like even in this building, man, I might grab this anyways. The lighting is perfect on this building right now. I'm, I'm gonna grab this real quick. Oh shoot, that's how big it has to fall. <laughs> Going the other way. <laughs>
didn't drop. Dude looks awesome, bro. Think he's cool or no? I don't know. Think he's tripping or you think he's cool? Ah, oh, dude, he looks so cool, man. Oh shit! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right, my dudes, we're back. Day three, tried my best getting in close, getting in tighter. It's not exactly the same as like shooting street in like Beverly Hills or something, you know? There's a, um, you know, it, there's a there's a larger abundance of good things to document and more characters out and about, but with that comes a heightened level of anxiety. A little bit, makes things feel a little bit more sketchy, but we're gonna hit it. Oh, the biggest thing is I, I put too much trust into the aperture priority mode of this camera. What resulted was just way too much motion blur a lot of times. Luckily, some of the shots still worked. Sometimes it adds a little bit more organicness to it when it's a little bit blurry, but some were too blurry for to even use, so I didn't even you know bother showing them. Obviously, I'm only showing you the ones that I feel are worthy enough. Took a lot more than what I'm showing in this video. Um, so today I'm gonna have to just start remembering to meter each new street I get on. That's gonna be a bit of uh, a challenge in its own, remembering to meter. Also, sometimes this aperture gets knocked around a little bit. It's just, a, it's not tight enough. And I just had this lens serviced, but it's really old. So it's just a thing I have to keep an eye on. I gotta keep an eye on that aperture, I'm trying to keep it around an F8. Oh yeah, the sleep, the sleep timer. I missed a handful of shots because the camera fell asleep and when I thought I took a picture, I didn't because it takes a minute for it to wake up. So I missed like two or three shots uh, on day two for sure because that shutter didn't fire because the camera fell asleep. So there's three things I gotta constantly check now. Is the camera awake? Is the aperture where I want it to be? And how are we on exposure meter wise? <laughs> it's a lot more to look and respond to it's a lot more to keep an eye on versus, you know, running around with the Sony, which is basically like a little computer. Uh, other than that, let's hit it. Thank 
Music. This might be a cool shot. It's cool with the big sign. Big sign said closed with him next to it. One shot, my dudes. One shot. One shot. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. the greatest day I'll say that this battery finally just died so that's cool the one thing I will say these M8 batteries last a really long time so everyone that complains about them not lasting long I don't understand what they're doing anyways that's beyond the point what did I struggle with today everything I guess but also like I also su I still suck at what I'm doing too you know like I'm still trying to figure out this street photography thing I mean I guess I feel okay about some of the photos that I shared with y'all but not really. I, I don't know, man. 
I don't know. It's I, I think street photography is the hardest thing that anyone can do with a camera. Like you asked me, what's the hardest? What's the hardest thing to shoot? A hands down street photography, and that's the bummer part about it. It's like, why am I in love with something that I'm so bad at? That's the biggest question, and that uh, and that will probably forever haunt. You know, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to something that I suck at. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> But that makes sense, because most things that I've been addicted to in my life, I suck at, right? I was an alcoholic for 15 years. I was horrible at drinking, the worst drinker known to man. Uh, but yet I was addicted to it. Skateboarding, skateboarding is the one thing that I was semi-decent at that I was addicted to, but the addiction didn't last long. That's why you don't drink and booze, folks, because it'll kill your ambitions and dreams, and you'll end up being 39 years old out here trying to do a vlog about street photography. Let's get We might be able to catch up now. Come on now. I gotta make up for my shitty day. I fucking suck. God, I fucking suck. <laughs> uh -huh. You don't hear me though.